and the croissant. All the good stuff. There it is, cooking coffee. Breakfast. On day seven of my second Camino Frances, we left Las Arcos early in the morning on a beautiful sunny day. And although it got noticeably colder, the landscape was just as beautiful as ever. Unfortunately, the grey would win over again as we approached Logroño. started a bit chilly this morning turned into what I would call perfect walking conditions. 17 degrees, a few clouds and a light breeze. work of that tortilla. As we approached Lagrano, 
the grey seemed to have won over again. I remember the city as a bustling summer city. Now it's cold and almost empty. A special moment, as I say. <laughs> Thankfully, we had rented a very cute apartment, which made the temperature a little more bearable. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cute little place. Zeus. That's where we're staying. Having coffee here. And I'm very worried about the coming days because of the weather. If it gets cold, it's already cold. Then Houston, I have a problem. I found my. It was <laughs> Look, Ronio is pretty, but it feels different than last time because it's colder, much colder. There's a table with a lot of them. Jim ordered six of those 12 sandwiches. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, my hair's too bad. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so old. Okay. <laughs> Someone handed me this. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna Fried pork belly. Yeah, already. Maze balls food. Amazing. What's great about the larger cities that you hit every couple of days is you can really dive into the amazing food that they offer. It's a feast, and you're so hungry, and it's so delicious. Logroño. 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 Great stay at Cathedral Home Suite. Great night's sleep. But I got really chilly today. We'll see about that. Leaving Rogania. Big city of dreams. Evan had the right idea to go salty. This <laughs> <laughs> thing looks grim. Camino. Beautiful. As I wander across roadworks and their massive machines and men at work, the vast efforts underlying the things we take for granted become visible. These roads we drive thoughtlessly every day, hardly sparing a glance for their complex crafting. It is only by traveling its length and foot that I grasp the true enormity of the road system undergirding our economy. Yet even as I marvel at the road's grandeur, I mourn what is lost when landscape is irrevocably reformed. All those instances of grass, creek and forest interred under human progress. And for what purpose? To increase the relentless pace at which we race through our lives? It pains me to behold such violence done to the beauty of the land. Must we always alter nature to suit our desires? The road brings me face to face with civilization's ceaseless hunger, its appetite to conquer all in the name of efficiency. The road may enable connection, 
but it severs our roots to the soil. I walk on, torn between awe and grief, thankful for the road's gift, even as I mourn the price it extracted. The little town of Navarrete, just passing through. It's a bit of an industrial walk today. Not so easy on the eye. As I wander through the alternating rural and industrial landscape, I observe the sprawling wheat fields and I catch a glimpse of the vast networks transporting their bounty. I see the orchards brimming with grapes, soon to embark on global journeys as wine. All around me flows an intricate web of logistics I cannot fully grasp, yet I walk within it. The Camino winds through the heart of creation, with all things living, all things connected but it's hard to comprehend the complex ties binding every product in every place. From tranquil farms to crowded table, there are countless hands, each playing their small part, an intricate dance beyond one's grasp. We have lost sight of this truth. We take for granted the food in our mouth, forgetting the many lives who placed it there. In walking, my eyes open again to life's interconnectivity and my place in it. On this path, I also rediscover my dependence on farmers, drivers, winemakers, and of course, animals. Twenty kilometers later, Café con Leche. Like I said, so Evan got here as well. He's checking his yummy calamari. What are, what, what are you checking, yo? Yo, <laughs> MTV crepes. <laughs> Big Sky Montana now. There are storm clouds ahead and they look pretty spectacular. I love this kind of light, it's my favorite light for, for the video. So I don't mind getting rained on, it looks amazing. It's a total nature experience. Downtown Nahara, it's bumping. Yeah. Our apartment is somewhere down the street. Oh no, I don't even film it. Sorry. It wasn't, it. This was a consequence. <laughs> not it's on video. <laughs> <laughs> this is not All my of our mistakes are. So, this is my room. Troublemakers are all here. He's chief troublemaker. What are you doing? Why? <laughs> Why not red wine? I love it. Oh my god, you're not filming this. Crazy, my poor chief. Oh my god. 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 El Angelo del Camino. He looks like the devil. <laughs> I'm excited for this. You know? What's going on here? Cooking. Yeah. It's the, um, it's yeah. Let's do it. We don't think we have ice. We don't need it. It's just coke and wine. We don't need it. Oh, sorry. This is happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Hey. So what's for dinner? What's for dinner? It's actually like a bag of shit. It's salad. Yes. Love and green bay bag. What's the honestly like doing? Ketchup and pepper? Cheese. Salad and asparagus. What dressing do you have on it? It just looks amazing. Yeah. I love it. Look at this dinner. Where is it? Look at it. We're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it soon. God. <laughs> Sorry. We spent a great evening together at the apartment with great food and lots of laughs and amazing conversations. If you'd like to follow our Camino, subscribe and see you in the next episode.